हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल द कॉस्मिक वैक यार्ड टुडे विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट व्हाट इज स्टार हॉपिंग एंड आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट माय एक्सपीरियंस इन फाइंडिंग द प्लेडीज ओपन क्लस्टर रिसेंटली आई हैड अ लुक एट द प्लेडीज ओपन क्लस्टर लेट मी शो यू व्हाट यू सी राइट हियर इज द प्लेडीज ओपन क्लस्टर and today i'll be telling you how you can easily find it so if you see right uh, on the bottom i have the time right now set to 8:22 or uh, you can say about 8:30 pm and it's about 4 december on uh, the day where i am making this video now star gazing or star actually star hopping uses very simple concepts where we take in reference to different uh, different celestial objects that we can easily see from our backyard and we uh, try and find objects which we cannot see so uh, basically from my house pleiades were not at all visible but capella which is a very bright star in this constellation was visible so this is a magnitude 0.1 star and the lesser the magnitude the brighter it will be so capella was quite easily visible but uh, nothing else was visible only the moon was visible also so what did i do was pointed my telescope at capella and when i had a look at it i would i was easily able to see capella along with its surrounding stars now uh, i was able to see till this till aldebaran also Aldebaran was not easily visible from my location, but still, I was easily able to locate where Aldebaran is, and also Capella. These uh, small stars on the sides were also quite easily visible. Then, uh, the next day, I uh, used Aldebaran and Capella to guide me towards Pleiades open cluster, and. this is how i uh, looked at the cluster so this is very basic uh, basic technique of uh, star hopping where you use other celestial bodies which are very prominent in the sky to guide you towards the deep sky object that you are trying to look at uh, some other general tips when we are looking at pleiades is to use uh, the lowest magnification you can because it is a very wide or open target and you uh, want to have as much of an aperture as you can get so use your largest telescope because they will gather more light and uh, make it easier to view pleiades now i was unable to capture a photograph of pleiades because uh, the camera was very uh, was having a ha- was having a hard time focusing on it and also my hand was quite shaky at the time so uh, sorry for no images but still the view was very spectacular this was this is also my first deep sky object that i have seen now on a, one more thing that i have to talk about is that i was uh, not able to make videos for the past month or something because uh, right here uh, we had a lot of uh, pollution and that a uh, cause difficulty in viewing any object even mars was very difficult to look at so that is why i was not able to make any video during that period but now i'll be uh, trying to make more videos thank you for watching this video please like share subscribe and do comment by the way i am using uh, the celestron app i don't remember the name but yeah it's a celestron app uh, we'll see you next time till then clear skies